my son was going to school here, and I kind of helped out on uh, a couple productions. And then when they built this facility, uh, they kind of needed somebody in to take care of stuff. And Mr. Schwab, the middle school head uh, at the time, uh, we were talking, and he says, well, would you be interested in doing it? And I said, okay. So that's it. <laughs> We did Midsummer's Night's nice Dream. I had to create this sense of, a, the, of being in the woods and stuff. Well, it turns out a guy across the street from me had a ton of bamboo that he wanted to get rid of. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of plants, and they're like 18 feet tall. And I said, oh, can, can I cut them down? He says, I'd love it if you cut them down. So I got a truck, big truck, and we cut down, and we, along the back of the uh, set was these bamboo trees, which at this point was uh, turned kind of a golden color. So when, it, when I hit it with a blue light, they turned blue. When I hit it with a red light, they turned red. And then since it was Shakespeare, I, we did the stage so it was raked down. It was like two feet higher in the back than it was in the front. So I built up the stage and I thought, well, what am I going to do to make this look like a woods or something. And then I realized I had been watching, uh, I had done the shop floor in that Jackson Pollock thing where I flipped the thing, and I thought, that might be a kind of a cool idea. So then when I had this huge stage, 40 foot by 20 foot, and I'm standing on top of it with all these different colors of paint and these paint brushes, and I start flicking it, then I got Jackson Pollock. It was like I was in a cosmos or something. I mean, it was a, it was a neat effect. And, and the kids that did the play were very good. Since I was a kid, we had a piano, and I played, I played that all the time. And then I started getting into rock groups. But I, I played drums, and I really haven't had any musical training. Played at rock groups. I did a tour with when Jesus Christ Superstar was big. And I played bass on the... Uh, in the Midwest. But again, on that, I, I didn't play the bass at that point, but a friend of mine was playing guitar in a group and they needed a bass player right away. The guy had some physical problems. And so I learned how to play the bass for Jesus Christ Superstar in, in like three days. <laughs> and that worked out pretty well. It was fun to do that. Well, if, if I had to pick one, it would be jazz. But, you know, it's like food. So some days I, I like listening to country. I like R&B. I like just about everything. I don't much like opera. Pokers I can take for like five minutes, but other than that. Yeah. Well, in like 1967, I was in a rock band, and I had the opportunity to buy like a 1950 Cadillac Hearst which would allow me to have all the uh, equipment that I had in it. And it. You know, it got like a tenth of a mile per gallon. I mean, it was ridiculous. Well, a tornado came through, and it was, I was living in Madeira at the time, and a tornado came through and it knocked a tree down on the windshield, and it was way too expensive to fix it up. So, My intention is to work at homeless shelters. I know whatever I do, it's going to be in a volunteering thing. I've talked to a couple people, and they need, you know, people that they need people to repair toilets and sweep the floors and work at several different. And I, if I had to guess, that's what I'm going to do. I'll be doing something volunteer work, and I'll probably work in as many hours as I do here. Probably, you know, I, I play gigs every once in a while. I always wanted to write a, a musical that had contemporary or avant-garde type music, something that's maybe relevant or interesting that had a cast that would be good to do in the upper school 